What's happening? Today we're talking about the Lumen device and the Lumen app. So by the end of this video, I want you to have a good understanding of what Lumen is, what it does, and how it might be useful to you. Now, before we go any further, let's talk results. That's the main point of all of this, right? Is it working for you, brother? Well, I'm glad you asked. Over the last seven weeks that I've been on the Lumen program, I've lost 7.1 pounds. So that's a healthy one pound weight loss per week. You wanna be in that one to two pound range for healthy weight loss. So yeah, your boy is getting results. But more than that, the real value that I'm gaining is a real good understanding of how my own personal metabolism works. This is personal to you. So I'm learning how to manage my lifestyle in order to burn more fat. That's the whole goal here. Burn more fat and lose weight. At least that's my goal. What I eat, when I eat, my activity level, and how well I sleep are all factors that come into play when you talk about your metabolism and how well your body burns energy, thus allowing you to lose weight. So with the Lumen program, you get the device, which is how you determine whether your body is burning fat or burning carbs. That information is fed into the Lumen app and used to determine how many macros you get for the day. Before starting on Lumen, I really didn't have a good understanding of macros or macronutrients. So we're talking carbs, fat, and protein. These are the three primary types of energy that your body uses. And the Lumen app sets a target for you based on the specific track that you selected when you set up the device. Depending on your personal goals, what you're trying to accomplish, you can choose from the overall health track, the healthy weight loss track, and the fitness performance track. Select overall health to maintain your current weight. Healthy weight loss to train your metabolism to burn fat and metabolize fuel more efficiently. That's the track I'm on. And then pick the fitness performance track if you're looking to optimize your performance during workouts. Have you ever heard of an RER test? Well, I hadn't either, but apparently it was the only way to measure your metabolism before a device like Lumen became available and made it convenient to do this pretty much anywhere. To do the RER test, you'd actually have to go to a clinic. In a nutshell, Lumen was designed to help you understand your metabolism and improve upon it. So here's a useful, important tidbit of information. Burning carbs produces more CO2, that's carbon dioxide gas, than fat. So carbs produce more carbon dioxide than fat. The Lumen device uses a CO2 sensor to measure your CO2 levels. In doing so, it determines whether you're burning carbs or whether you're burning fat. If you're trying to lose weight, you need to be burning fat. So all you do is blow into this thing and it does the rest. Now, it does take a little practice to get used to inhaling long enough and then exhaling long enough to get your reading. Here's a couple of tips, some things that have helped me. It took me about three tries to get it down, uh, but make sure you're sitting. Make sure you're sitting up straight, you're not slouching. And when you inhale, really try to sort of uh, push your chest out as you inhale, right? And suck in your gut. That really helps me hold it and then exhale as though you're filling your stomach up and you're pushing your gut out and make sure you do it at a steady rate, a steady pace. Just keep trying and I'm confident that you'll get it. Okay, so when you first wake up in the morning, you need to take a reading. It's actually the most important reading of the day because it's gonna reflect how your metabolism performed overnight based on your activity from the previous day, um, your eating habits, how late you ate, and how well you slept. All those things affect your metabolism and will be reflected by the score that you get when you blow into the device. The goal is to wake up in a state of fat burn. You want your body to be burning fat while you sleep, baby. The app presents this as something called Lumen Levels, which is a scale from one to five. Now you can take as many readings as you want. Again, that morning reading is the most important and you have to do it before you do anything else, but you can take as many readings as you want throughout the day, before and after eating, before and after a workout, before you go to bed, 
um, after fasting. I pretty much take a reading during each of those times because I wanna stay abreast of what's going on with my body. So you almost get real time feedback about how your body is responding to the food you ate or responding to that workout you just had. So it's really, really useful in that way. So if you're into gadgets and into data, you can really geek out on this stuff. Now, something I notice is after every workout, if I work out for at least 30 minutes, the app will give me additional carbs. So I typically get 45 grams of carbs per day, and that's based on the track that I selected. So I get 45 grams of carbs. That's a low carb, right? After a workout, that gets bumped up to 75. Now here's something else important to keep in mind. When you first wake up in the morning, sometimes your heart rate may be high or higher. Uh, that's something I've noticed. If you take a reading right away, like right when you get out of bed, sometimes your higher heart rate can throw off your reading. So what I've noticed is I need to wait at least 15 minutes or so after getting out of bed my body settles down and then I take my reading. All right, now that you have your morning reading, the app is going to set your macros based on that reading and the lumen track that you selected. And over time, your macros will be adjusted based on how your readings are trending over time. Now, I haven't gotten one yet, but if you get several days of low readings during a week, you get something called a boost day. I haven't gotten a boost day yet. I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. Uh, but basically you'll get a high amount of carbs with little to no fat. And that's uh, a part of a concept called a carb cycling. And I won't get into too much detail about that right now, um, but it's a way to uh, make sure your metabolism is flexible. One of the objectives of the Lumen program is to develop metabolic flexibility. Metabolic flexibility is the ability of your body to efficiently switch between using carbs and fat for energy. I also notice when I don't get adequate sleep, I always blow a higher number in the morning. I've also noticed that when I don't cut off my eating by a certain time, by eight or nine say, I usually always blow a higher number. If you're sick or getting sick, you may blow a higher number or women that are on their cycle may blow a higher number. So these are all things that affect your metabolism and the device will reflect that. So there is a direct correlation between these things and my metabolism and my ability to lose weight. Now, since I've learned that, I started to cut off my eating by eight or nine o'clock the night before and that's with no snacking, and I've also incorporated intermittent fasting. So I'm doing a 14-10. So I have a 10-hour eating window and a 14-hour fasting window. Now 16-8 is probably the most popular intermittent fasting interval, but I found that 14-10 is really easy for me to sustain. So if I stop eating at 8 p.m. the night before, I can start eating again at 10 a.m. the next day. And since I don't really eat breakfast first thing in the morning anyway, that works out perfectly for me. And what I found is when I do that, I always wake up in a state of fat burn, blowing a one or two, and then I'm fasting until about 10 o'clock and I'm burning ones and twos during that time frame. So I've really learned something about my body and when and how it burns fat by using this device. I, I didn't have that knowledge before. And as I mentioned in the opening, I'm losing weight. Okay, I wanna jump in here right quick with an additional point. So something else I've discovered while incorporating intermittent fasting with the Lumen is right around that 14 hour mark, my body starts to shift from fat burn to burning carbs. That's another reason why I settled on a 14-10 interval versus something longer. Once I see that shift, I know my body may be getting stressed from not eating and then I break my fast. 
So I'm discovering and sort of confirming so many things just from using the Lumen. Okay, now let's talk about the Lumen Flex Score. It takes two weeks of morning measurements for the app to learn how flexible your metabolism is. It's also determining your breath signature. So from all the readings that you take in the morning, throughout the day, it's going to combine all of that and determine your personal breath's uh, signature. The flex score is on a scale of 0 to 21, and the higher the number, the greater your flexibility. I started with a 9, now I'm up to 13, so my metabolism is becoming more and more efficient. Okay, now let's talk about some of the features in the app. So if you have an iPhone, you can actually sync data from Apple Health right into the Lumen app. The motion detection features of your phone will also feed, you know, activity data. And if you have a Garmin, a Garmin watch, that will also sync with the Lumen app. You can also have all of your macro data feed automatically into Lumen if you use MyFitnessPal. Now I've already done a YouTube short on how to get all that set up, so check that out here. I'll also leave a link down in the description box. You can also enter your meals manually into the Lumen app, but I find it super convenient and just more efficient to enter into MyFitnessPal, have that feed into Apple Health, and then that automatically feeds into the Lumen app. Lumen also gives you daily goals that you can choose from, and it's really just to encourage certain behaviors like um, going to sleep by a certain time, um, lifting weights for 20 to 60 minutes, or having all of your caffeine by 4 p.m. Something I've used quite a bit and I found to be very, very useful is notes. So you can actually add notes. There's a section here in the app where you can add notes to just chronicle what's going on. So you can always go back and look and see, okay, I blew a four that day, what was going on? Um, I blew a three, what was happening? I blew a one, what was going on? So you can really start to connect the dots um, between the levels that you're blowing and your activity and your behaviors on the previous day and throughout the day. It's, it's really, really helped me because I can look at that and make adjustments and it has really made a difference. My numbers are improving. I just gotta get better sleep. The app also keeps a history of your prior readings. So you can see it by week, by day. Um, there's even a way, like a little graph in there where you can um, see trends by month and by three month periods. Very, very useful. And also, if you're having your weight fed into uh, the Lumen app from Apple Health, it'll track that and trend that for you as well. And then every week, you will get a kind of a summary report um, every week, and it'll show you your trends. Whether you're losing or gaining weight, it'll show you how much you've gained or lost since starting on the Lumen program. And so here you can see what my readings look like, the, the progress that I've had since starting on the Lumen app. So as you can see here, um, things are trending the right way for me. My Lumen scores are a lot better now than they were when I first started. My um, flex score is going up and my weight is going down. That's what you want to see. Another thing you'll find in the app are a lot of explainer videos, uh, motivational videos, stuff like that. And I've actually found them to be pretty useful, uh, most of them. And when I click on them, I, I always get uh, some good information, good tidbit of information, clarification on something, um, little tidbits of information, things that I may not have known. So those are that's a nice touch. I really do like that. And I've also been impressed by the support offered through the app. They have a chat feature. I've actually used it. I had a question about um, what something meant in the app and I fired off a chat and I was surprised that I got a response within, I don't know, three to five minutes or something like that. So that's really, really useful. There's also a bunch of FAQs, uh, help section that you can search. Just a lot of information right there at your fingertips um, if you're looking to get more uh, understanding or clarification about something. Also join the Lumen Community Facebook group. That's a great way to bounce ideas off of other users. And the Lumen admin is very active within that group as well. Okay, other things in the app. You have recommended food lists, and this is something that I use a lot. I'm on a low carb plan or low carb track. So it gives you recommendations of the types of carbs you can eat to stay within your macros. 
very useful. Um, there's also uh, portion recommendations in there. So that's in the app. Menu hack ideas for when you, uh, you're you eating out. So you can, again, stay within your macros. They give you uh, meal ideas. And you can even order meals. They call them meal boxes. You can even order meals through Lumen. I haven't um, looked into that at all, but it's there. Okay, so final thoughts on my experience with the Lumen device and the Lumen app. It really has become a normal part of my daily routine. You know, at any time I can see how my activity, how my sleep, how my eating habits impact my metabolism. I really didn't have this level of insight until using this tool. And that's really what it is. It's a tool. And let me let me let me touch on that a little bit more. The one thing you can't do is assume that blowing into this device is going to dramatically change you and make you start losing weight. There's still the component of you. You are the one that actually does all of the things necessary to reach your goals. The Lumen app and the Lumen device are just, they're just tools, just like any other tool that you have to employ, you have to engage and you have to use to reach the ends that you're trying to reach. Now, all of this may sound like a lot of work and like it, it, it may take a lot of your time, but it really doesn't. I mean, after a while, it just becomes the norm. It just becomes incorporated into your daily routine. You know, you get up in the morning, you, you do your reading, and then you're off, you know, for your day. You kind of know how to operate. You get your macros, you stay within those macros as well as you can, and you just go about your day, go about your week. Now, remember, if you mess up, it's okay, get back on the horse. You know, that's what this is all about. If you don't track, personally, if I never track things like my weight and what I'm eating and consuming, I will go off track. So just remember to stay on track, you gotta track. One day you may be off, but the next day you know you just have to correct, right? I always feel like I'm working towards my goal. I haven't gotten that boost day yet. I'm still working towards that, but I'm moving closer and closer to my goal. If you have any questions about the Lumen device, the Lumen app, my experience, anything like that, leave it down in, in the comments down below and stay on the lookout for some update videos.